Hi everyone, I'm Eli Borak from Tradent and today I've got a very special lesson for you. It's on how to trade during intraday news. Now, did it happen to you that you got shaken out of a great trade during intraday news? Well, I'm going to teach you today how you should behave and that's all based on my live trading session today and live examples. So first one we're looking at is Tesla. Tesla now is very weak. It's down 1.3% and the market is approximately at zero. So I expect it to come down. Therefore, shorting 1400 shares here. Very early, these are one minute candles. So I'm going to fast forward it so you can see what happened there. My target is one point. It's reaching the right now up $1,400 and I'm about to cover 1200 shares and leaving just 200 shares. And I'm doing that right now as I believe it's just reached the bottom. So just left 200 shares and doing the same thing in Meta. Meta is down 0.8%. The market is at around zero, which means Meta is relative to the market very weak. I'm shorting 2000 shares, expecting the same behavior, just like in Tesla. So I'm going to fast forward Meta as well. And you can see that it just, just touched a new low. And my target here, again, approximately one point, I'm up $2,000 right now. And I'm about to take my partial now, taking, leaving 200 shares. So Meta worked out very nicely. Now the market stays at zero, but look at Nvidia. Nvidia is up, it's up trending. So the same idea, you look for stocks which are outperforming. I'm going to go long Nvidia, right here, 2000 shares, expecting it to continue moving up. And the same thing with Qualcomm. Market is at zero, Qualcomm is up 0 0.9, 1 1.1%. I'm going long buying 2000 shares. Now back to Nvidia, I'm gonna fast forward it. It's just played around a little bit here, but as you can see, it tries to move higher and now it added, I'm adding here 3,000 shares. Now it's over the highs, just reached my target, left 200 shares. Now take a look at the S&P 500. Now the news are about to come. So the S&P is kind of trending higher, not much of a movement, but look at this red candle, which is about to grow. Powell is speaking now. The things about inflation, the, the, the chance that uh, the interest rate is going to uh, move higher. And the first reaction is very, very important because as you can see, the first reaction is red. Now, please remember, there are three phases to news. Normally, there are three phases to news. You're looking right now at the first reaction. These are five minute candles. And as you can see, and again, I'm fast forwarding it a bit. So as you can see, it's a big spike down. Look at the behavior of the stocks that I'm trading. I only have 100 shares left in the video. I don't care much. I'm going to give it some space. Now, Tesla, I only have 100 shares left and it's moving lower, which is great because I'm short. But the problem is Qualcomm. I did not yet have my partial in Qualcomm. And in fact, I added another 1000 shares. So now I'm long 3000 shares and I'm down $1,200 and it is coming down. I'm down $1,700, $1,800 coming down. And the question is, should I stop it? The answer is definitely no. During intraday news, there's always three phases that you need to remember. Phase number one is down. So the first red candle you're seeing here is a five minute red candle. Now I'm fast forwarding it in, in the same candle you can see that phase number two is actually an upside move. So look at the bottoming tail, look at the way the S&P is returning higher. And again, first reaction was red sellers. Now it doesn't mean that if there's good or bad news that the market is going to react according to good or bad news. Never ever expect the market to react according to what you think is good or bad news. Now look at the way the market is moving up. That's the third reaction. And the third reaction is that the market decided to move higher. Now Qualcomm is at the highs. You may remember earlier it was down. I was down $1,800. Right now it's kind of going sideways. I'm fast forwarding it again. The market continues to move higher. Qualcomm is now over the highs. I took my partial left 200 shares. So let's go back to the market and take a look at the S&P 500 and try to understand what happened there. First candle was red. These are five minute candles. And the first reaction of the market was down based on the news. Now don't try to figure out what the direction is supposed to be based on your economic understanding because if you are a great economist and you think that the market should move up or down normally the market would probably do the probably go the, the opposite way don't trust your understanding of economics to figure out where the market's going the first reaction was 
down, respect it, but wait for the second phase. And the second phase was green. As you can see, we left a very long bottoming tail. It wasn't a green candle, but during the first five minute candle, we left a very long bottoming tail, which indicated that the second phase during the first five minutes was green. And then we drifted sideways and then came the third phase, which was clearly green. And if you long a stock, you can definitely, or you should, wait for the second phase to clear out the first one and if you're holding a stock that just came down hold on don't let it shake you out during the first phase just wait for the second phase and then comes the third phase which could go either way it could go up or down but it chose to move higher just the important thing that you need to understand is never ever let the first phase shake you out wait for the second phase wait for the third phase and here's my result as you can see i finished up $7,500 and i've got four green trades it all happened in less than one hour because i didn't let the news to shake me out and i knew that i should expect three different phases so please remember that i hope you liked the video if you did please give me a like it helps my channel and more people like you learn more about day trading. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, there's a button right over here. Please subscribe and hit on the bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. There's plenty of links right here below. One of them is for my live trading room. You don't need a credit card. Just click on the link below and sign up for a free 14-day trial. All of these trades were called live in my trading room. I'm trading with my live screens, my live PL, and I'm sharing my PL each and every day. So join me. I'm looking forward to have you in my trading room. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.